Hello there, it's Haley with the Armageddon Report. Lots to talk about. Let's jump on over to the typhoons that are out in the northwest Pacific. So we've got this one, Typhoon Tendin, is currently impacting Taiwan. They are under typhoon warning. And then we've got Typhoon Balavan, predicted to become the equivalent of a Category 3 hurricane in the future with potential impacts to South Korea. Then over in the Atlantic, we've got the big bad boy Isaac, what not predicted to become a Category 1 hurricane around the time of making striking Haiti and then becoming a Category 1 hurricane again potentially before it impacting Florida. Then we've got this, Joyce, no immediate threat to land as in the, the headline or whatnot. But so Joyce, not looking like it would make, you know, an East Coast landfall. However, you know, things can always change, you know, that's always possible. But let's talk about spaghetti models. So normally you'd be seeing the spaghetti models for the Atlantic storms as well. However, the server, it's almost always the Western Pacific one that I have problems with, but this time it's the Atlantic spaghetti models. However, if you go directly to, for instance, the Isaac spaghetti models page, you can see, oh, hey, look, a spaghetti model, which happens to be OFCL, and if you can't already guess, that stands for official. However, if you scroll down, though, you can get what was in the latest run from uh, the NCAR, or NCAR, have they predicted... So with Isaac, well, there's actually a general consensus that Florida will be impacted in some fashion and it's looking more and more likely that there will be some sort of US impact. I mean, it was already kind of predicted, but it's like the, the NHC, the National Hurricane Center, is actually kind of moving it farther and farther west, which of course makes it more and more likely that it's going to impact the United States rather than, you know, curving out here and then, you know, going away. So hopefully the spaghetti model data will return, but until then, here's some alternate sources, and that's if you... Oh, in fact, here you go. Here is it. That's it. That's the spaghetti model's data that's currently available in the latest run. So hopefully that will get fixed soon. I personally have no way to impact it. Let's talk about warnings. So if we click on this, we can then click on watches and warnings. And we can, there we go, so the red stuff, hurricane warning, blue stuff I believe is hurricane watch and of course it won't let me click, there we go, maybe. Nothing's ever working right, it never works right. Anyway, I do believe that's a hurricane watch and these are tropical storm watches, there we go. wonder why the blue thing doesn't click. The blue thing, whatever it is, there we go. So yes, hurricane warning, tropical storm warning. Tropical storm watches, that's what's in effect as of the latest public advisory from the NHC. So that is obviously the, the big news for the Atlantic is, you know, Isaac. But probability wise in the Eastern Pacific, just a 10% chance out there. And then a 10% chance of tropical cyclone formation out far in the Atlantic. However, that is of course where Ernesto started, where Isaac started, where Joy started. So that could end up being something in the future. Obviously, that's something to pay attention to. Let's talk about the US and all the things on fire. So all of these things, red flag warning. So that's where fire weather conditions are favorable out here in all three of these states. We've got flood, flash flood watches for those areas. Severe thunderstorm wise today, just a smallish area. We've got, what is it, Kansas and Nebraska impacted by a slight risk. So they're the ones with either with the 15 percent chance of winds and hail. However, if you look at the probability maps, Minnesota actually has a chance of their own. So winds, severe winds would be 58 miles per hour greater. This is severe hail, it'd be one inch larger. And then tornadoes are actually uh, potential in both areas, so 2% chance. So for instance, if you pick this random point in Minnesota, what does a 2% chance mean? Well, that means that there's a 2% chance that that random point or someone within a 25 mile radius of them will see a tornado today. So it might not be, you know, if you're in that green area, in either of these green areas, it means it might not be you, but there's a 2% chance that like a neighbor within 25 miles of you will see a tornado today. We're going to jump ahead all the way out to day four, th days four through eight, where, because, you know, the chance tomorrow and then day three, not a whole bunch going on, but we'll talk about that tomorrow, of course. But day four, the talk, so day four, let me make sure I've got the date right, August 26th. So, two primary areas of concern for severe potential this forecast. First, the tornado risk associated with Tropical Storm Isaac may commence as early as day four, which would again be August 26th. 
in Florida based on latest NHC track and consensus of guidance. This may persist across parts of the southeast during the period. Although guidance has converged to some extent on the track slash timing. Oh, it's track strip timing, right? Confidence, confidence is much too low to warrant high risk equivalent tornado probabilities at or above 30% in this time frame. So that's what I wanted to bring up. You could have obviously read that on your own unless you happen to be illiterate. Illich, illich, I can't enumerate if you can't do numbers. Right, anyway, so August 26th is where we may potentially already be seeing some Florida impacts and for there to be a boost in terms of the tornado risk as, as per Isaac, as per on account of Isaac. So that is what's going on for right now or whatnot. SevilleWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of this screencast. You can watch the old ones there for some reason. You can check on the drought. You can go through that. It's like a PowerPoint presentation or something. WiggleWix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. And of course, you can always tune to your local weather thingamajig, wherever you like to get your weather news. That's it for today. Hopefully you're not impacted by anything that you don't want to be impacted by and take it easy.